In this video, we will learn how to create navigation buttons that allow learners to move to the next or previous slides by clicking the buttons or pressing the keys on the keyboard. First of all, we create the next button. In the insert tab, click button. Then press and draw a button on the canvas. We enter text to this button and then change its color. To let learners move to the next slide when they click this button, you need to add the on click event. Then, add the go forward one slide action. What about the key press action? We need to insert a keystroke and delete the unnecessary feedback messages. We also clear the default actions in the properties pane. To let learners move to the next slide when they pressed right arrow key, we add the following events actions. On key press, go forward one slide under the condition that it's the right arrow key. I also add a play audio action to this event to distinguish key press from mouse click when we preview them in the latter part. As we don't collect any point from this key pressing action, we set its point to zero. Then, change its attempts to infinite, so learners can press the key as many times as they want. One more thing we need to pay attention to is that, the key stroke needs to be set to no fill and no line. This way, the object is considered transparent. So, the next button is all set for now. We copy it to make a back button. As you can see, the key stroke object is on a higher layer compared to the button object, which covers the button. So, to change the button's name, we need to click this eye icon to hide the key stroke object temporarily. Then, we change the action for this button. Show the keystroke object and change its actions too. Finally, we copy these buttons and paste them to other slides. If your project has many slides, you can consider adding buttons to Slide Master to save your time. For more information, please refer to the How to Use Slide Master video. Here's the result. Thank you for watching.